Jenny. Welcome to my channel, Jennifer Perez Art. And today we're going to tackle the KonMari method of organizing and rejuvenizing, if you will. Making everything in your home, just whatever's going to be in your home, to spark joy out of you. And we are going to throw in there some of my way of doing things. This is my home. I have my own way of doing things. I have a slight degree of OCD so I need my things in a certain order so we are going to tackle this big boy right over here this big chest this is the only place where I store clothes in the drawers the rest are stored in the closet and we will do my closet some other day but we are going to tackle bras panties pantyhose chemises lingerie swimsuits bikini shorts tank tops and pajamas the main focus is to have things stay with you that spark joy out of you. Dress up for your occasion. I'm wearing my lovely dress my hubby got for me. And put some jewelry on, some nice jewelry that makes you feel joyful. And I also like to play some music. I play yoga meditational music, which is just instrumental with sounds of nature. No mantras, no lyrics at all. L burn some aromatic candles, wax, or even turn on some incense. Make sure you are not disturbed, so close your door, let everybody know in your home that you will be busy doing some personal cleansing, and turn off that phone of yours. <laughs> Don't get distracted. And that way you can concentrate on working with your own pile. Now, many people just gather all of their clothes in one spot and just put them on the floor, take them out of their lovely little homes, closet, or drawers, and they go through the piles. You're going to get rid of dingy stuff, broken, ripped stuff, anything that does not spark joy. Now, I am creative and I'm an artist, so I do have pieces that will have paint on them and I need to keep them because that, those are my go-to pieces of wardrobe that I always tend to use when I'm painting or cleaning up the house. So those will be staying. Now there are some pieces I can vamp up and fix a little bit, changing the color. You will see later on in some other videos how you can revamp some of your clothing or repurposing them. So you guys make some piles, things that you're going to throw away, things that you're going to give away, things that you might even sell, things that are like in perfect conditions and you think, oh, I can get like five bucks, 10 bucks out of it, or a buck, two, and use that money for yourself or just donate the money. Don't be afraid of giving away things that were gifted to you, but if there is something in there that sparks memories and you really don't want to get rid of it, you can also do some DIY with that little specific... I'm going to say pajamas because I do have a pair of pajamas in here that are like granny pajamas because they, they're like grandma pajamas, my husband says they are, and I think it's true, and because my grandma actually gave them to my mom, and then she handed them down. It's all in perfect condition. But I will be doing some DIY with it just to keep the memory of my granny in there. I'm not gonna cry, I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> yeah, you can guess she did pass away. So let's begin. Get yourself prepared mentally and physically. Dress up for the occasion, like I said, and hop on today we are going to tackle my panty drawer now my panty drawer i have chemises but i will show you how you can fold your chemises and put them away in another video because i don't want to make the videos like overly long so you guys bear with me i'm going to divide all of these videos for you So let's begin. This is the before organizing the KonMari My Zenful method. As you can see, I have them nice and neat in little bunches, and they're all stacked in different um, attire. No, so let's go ahead and remove everything out of the drawer. I'm going to place everything on my bed so I can see what I have. I'm not going to make a mess. I'm I don't like to see messes. I'd rather have them in their bunches. As you can see, I got my panties, my bras, my socks, some more panties, and my chemises in the background. Here's a little bunch of panties that need to be folded. I've never folded them up, but I'm going to do them today. So we are going to, well, you guys are going to see 
some of my panties. Um, it's just a few pieces. I don't mind. You're not going to see all of them, and you're definitely not going to see me walking down the street and say, oh, hey, you had your purple panties on. No, <laughs> I don't think so. I'm just showing you the way I had folded previously my undies when I have them in stacks and just fairly easy. Mm -hmm. This is the way I always have them. I do not like to have messy drawers, house, nor closets. So what I do is I, my G-strings, I put them face down, fold over the top sides, and then we are going to fold over in thirds, but right over, as you can see, we're gonna roll that right over the panty. And we are going to tuck it in that first little part of the panties. Just tuck it right in there, don't make a bunch. And there you have it. Now, it's not gonna, this panty is like really thin and it will not stand on its own. So you need to have like a couple more to have them stack up. And there are drawer organizers that can help you just prop them in there. Now I'm going to show you these different other ways that you can fold other types of G-strings. They're all other types, but first of all, let's start with the garter belt. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it on this one. <laughs> We're not going to go into my other mm, fun wardrobe, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead and clasp or close the little edges. And I'm just going to place them right over the garter belt. Whatever straps you have, because there are some other garter belts that have them hanging on other sides also, just put them right over the lace or the material of your garter belt fold over the sides on both sides meet them right at the middle you can overlap it doesn't matter and then carefully because the straps might come out just do it carefully ladies and just fold it over once and twice and there you have it now this is mainly out of lace it's not going to prop up unless you have some small organizers you can leave them just laying side by side you decide how you want to put them in your drawer now let's move on to the tiniest thongs <laughs> that are out there i put them face down and i have the straps come in right in the middle and then I fold the sides at the top fold it right over almost making a burrito and then we are going to tuck it in only on the first little layer you see of the panty and there you have it little tiny tiny panties if you were were going to travel you should do this in your luggage also it will save you a ton of space now let's move on with these thongs they're really lacy up on the sides and on the back sometimes we don't know how to fold them we just bunch them up and throw them in the drawer so my way will be just tucking in the sides the ribbons or elastic whatever the material is that you have fold it right in both sides fold a little on each end at the top just to give it security make it a lot more secure flip it right over ladies let's do that semi burrito and tuck it in you need to tuck it in right under the first layer of the panty that you see because if you do it on both then it might open up so just do it only on the one end now here's some other example ones. There are some bikinis that are out there that are like this, even if it's a lot more wider on the back. It's the same procedure. Just tie the knot, a slight knot right at the edge. Don't do any bows because you're going to make extra, make your panties puff up a little extra. So just make one slight bow, um, sorry, not a bow, <laughs> one slight knot. And you're going to bring in the ribbons. Now you guys always take care of your material. Be nice. Be loving. <laughs> it's like giving your clothes an extra energy of yourself. So be nice to your clothes. Just place the ribbons right over 
the panties fold in the sides. Now, since this is a little bit longer on the sides, I'm just gonna bring them in a tad bit more. And then I'm going to flip it over once. And we're gonna tuck and twice. And you tuck right in there. And there you have it. Moving on to cheeky underwears or panties. These are really up your bottom, if you know what I mean. So you can tuck in the bottom first and then bring in the sides because it is a lot more large. It's not like a G-string that you can roll it over. So let's do the same procedure with these boy shorts. You're going to tuck in, first of all, the crotch area. These are low boy, boy shorts, so you're not going to have a lot of crotch area hanging around. So flip it right over. There you got it. And then once more, downwards, so you are able to be to stack them up, if you know what I mean. You will see at the end what I mean when you stack them up. It's like placing one besides the other. And there you have it. Let's try some bikinis. We are laying bottoms down, flip over the crotch area, and then flip the sides over. The only time I do it in reverse flip, placing the crotch area down is when we're folding G-strings. The rest are just bottoms down. So these are high-waisted boy shorts. And when you flip in the crotch area if you have it kind of long and then Bring the crotch area up to meet almost the top of your panty. And then flip over the sides to meet each other. Now these are some cheekies, but they're all laced right at the bottom and including the crotch area. So just flip over the crotch area, fold both sides in, and then have it either come down towards you or towards the left or the right. It all depends like how you want to visualize that panty in your drawer. If you want to see the little bit of the lace or if you don't, I don't like to see the line marks or division marks of the fabric. Here we go again with some lacy, cheeky boy shorts. You fold in the crotch area, bring in the sides and fold over. Let's show you how to do some other types or form of bikinis. Bring in the crotch area, side, bring in the side, and fold over. Same thing with these panties. You fold towards you or you fold towards the side. Depends how you want to see them. One more time, ladies, bottoms down, fold the crotch, fold one side, fold the next, and fold towards you. This is like really easy. Once you get a hang of the hang of it, you'll be doing this in no time. Now let me show you. These don't fit me anymore. They're too big. But let me show you how you can fit, how you can fold bigger panties. You fold them the same way, but it's going to make your bunches a little bit wire wider. So if you don't want them, you want them reduced, just flip and fold the very edges and then bring them in on both sides so that way the bunch will be way smaller and then just fold it over let me show you the finished drawers they look really zenful and really organized i love the, this way of folding the clothes i have a lot of space left over i got rid of some pieces but i know if i would have folded them and stuck them in there they would have fit anyways <laughs> but the outcome is spectacular. Let me show you. As you can see, the drawer looks very zenful and organized. I have lots of space here. And I only have three rows of panties. Now I have my chemises way in the corner. I will show you how I did that in another video. But as you can see, they are all in category and I have them divided. And I am able to see each one. Now when you're organizing and folding your clothes, try, try, I didn't do it because it does not work for me. It would look visually pleasing for me, but 
with my OCD kicking in, it won't work. So I need, wait, 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 wait. Before I tell you what I need, how it needs to look, I need to tell you what will be eye-pleasing and very zenful, if you know what I mean. The harmony of your colors, if you have them from lightest to darkest, that will look so, so pretty. <laughs> but I can't do that. In my categories, I have, even if it's in my bra area or my panties or my shorts, Let's go with my panties for an example. I have a ton of G-strings. I have various like bikinis, boy shorts, and panties that are like, panties that are more for those days that you feel like you're bloated um, before you get your period. So I do have a section for my period on these two so I have like what I need like right there where where I know it is where I placed it I just go straight to it I'm not gonna be digging oh the color which one which one which one where are you where are you no that does not work for me so what I did was I put all my thongs in one area and then from my thongs I did put them in category and either the, the categories they skip to the colors so I'll have like pinks and then my blues and then I'll have like blacks with with uh, fuchsia and etc. So same thing with my bras. My bras, I have my strapless bras together. And then, my, and then for example, as my in my with my chemises, I have them by color, but also I have chemises that are like the dressy kind, and then the short, and then the very long gown. That's like the only long gown that I have but it's slit all the way up to the inner thigh. It's, that looks so spectacular. I love, love, love that chemise, that nightgown. And um, and then I have, I have like two pairs that are like really short boy shorts with a little chemise top, uh, crop top. So those are together. And from then on, it's just different um, other sexy lingerie that I got. And I just tried to put them together accordingly to the similar style and then in their colors and the way that I use them. Let me know in the comments below if you will be joining me in the bandwagon doing the KonMari method and throwing in some of the my Zenful method in there too. I would love to hear how it goes and if you have any questions or suggestions let me know in the comments below also. In the description box I will leave you the links to all the social media you can find me on the internet i'm on facebook instagram as jennifer perez art i'm here on youtube as jennifer perez art on snapchat and twitter i'm on as jennifer perez jp so please don't forget to subscribe so you can get some other related videos and also home decorating we're going to be doing diys around my home and artwork, creative crafting, DIYs, everything healthy and food related, and wellness, <laughs> and some lifestyle of things I do during the day, where I go, what I do, things like that. So you guys subscribe to my channel here on YouTube at Jennifer Perez Art, and I will see you soon. Take care and have a wonderful day. Ciao!